All right, so now that we got everything kind of sanded down, it looks good on both sides. I decided to do both sides because, you know, that's how I am. Um, I'm gonna now set it up so that we can put the mechanism in. What we're gonna need to do is drill a hole so we can fit the mechanism through. The shaft's gotta go all the way through. And then um, we'll router out uh, the space where this mechanism can kind of sit in so that the whole shaft and tip stick out so you can put your clock hands on it. So first thing is 3 8 bit. I'm gonna cut through the center. All right, and now if you watch, I can stick the mechanism in that hole. Right like that. But if I flip this over, you can barely see the tip come through. So we need to get the tip and the shaft all the way through. So what we're gonna have to do is router out a hole so that this piece can sit in there. So I'm gonna clamp this down. And then I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to draw a square or, or what is it called? Tracing, Mr. Harris? Yep. Trace the um, mechanism box so I kind of have a space of where I'm going to router out. So now that I got that done, you can see I didn't worry about the little hanger piece because this will all sit on the back of your clock. And then this is where you put a screw and you hang it on the wall and everyone enjoys it. So now I'm going to take this drill or this router. I'm going to put it in the hole. And now the important thing with these routers is you probably learned you got to hold them tight. You got to be fluid with your your motions. Um, what I'm going to do on this box is I'm going to make an X. So I'm going to go out to all four corners. I'll stop. And actually, I won't stop it. I'll just continue it. And then I'll clean out the rest of it so you can see what it looks like when it's done. So go ahead and enjoy the noise. So now if we take a look at it, you can see that with the router, I cut out the piece where we're going to be able to fit the, uh, fit the mechanism and we'll sit in there. Oops, looks like I got to get the corner a little bit more and then we'll be able to see it. So just give me one second, clamp this down quick. And one thing you probably noticed as I was going through that I was just following the lines and I was, I was holding it firmly and kind of tracing around. Um, that box to cut it out and it looks like I missed that corner or maybe I didn't trace properly enough when I did the line Just give me a second here <laughs> And although Although this is the back side no one's gonna see it you do want to take your time to make it look as clean as you can because um, You want to put that the effort into it so now we put this in here and now it fits. Look at that. So now we're able to get everything out the backside and now we are good to go um, with the rest of this.